Hello everyone. This one's only for the daily readers. If you read the Bible, the Word of God, on a daily basis, and you're born of the Holy Spirit, the one Spirit holy is God, you may be able to comprehend what I'm about to say. A house, an altar in the house, a house and an altar in a city, an eternal city, a heavenly new Jerusalem. I'll leave it there. I'm going to read the first four verses of Titus. Titus is the answer to Hebrews, Galatians before Hebrews, and the three T's after Hebrews, 1 Timothy, Titus, and 2 Timothy. I'm eating whole cashews that I purchased at Fry's. In great big $13 bags <laughs> with sea salt, coffee, carnations, zero sugar, French vanilla. All right, here we go. Titus. This will be a nine or a ten minute teaching, I think. I'll show you something that may be hard to see, but I am the creator of the eight-pointed star. Be in all above, eternal above love. Victory. I am I believe that the second half of the sacred name is V, Yava, V-A-H, Va. You can believe different if you want. We'll all find out someday when we get up above. But this one thing I do know, the Father and the Son have the same short form name. Hallelujah. Y-A-H. Yah. Short form name of God, the Father, and God, the Son. I never thought I would say that. My Bible mentor would say that. He had greater understanding than I did when I met him 40 years ago. Nathan Scharf, a Russian Jew. Scharf could be one of the names of the Levitical priesthood. He was Hasidic, Jewish, made the mistake of getting on his knees one day and he told me this story. He was upset about all the Jews that were being killed by the Germans and uh, cremated in ovens, was it Auschwitz, something like that, uh, got on his knees one day and he said, if this Jesus that the Christians worship is really you, really the Son of God, I want him. And boom, <laughs> he couldn't get enough of the the New Testament after that prayer. Now Hebrews, Bible scholars will argue, is the unknown writer. But there's cues and tips in there. And I think Paul wrote it, or a student of Paul, or definitely a Hebrew wrote to Hebrews. I do not believe Hebrews was written by Luke, a Gentile, or any Gentile believer. There were many that cl followed close to Paul, Tychicus, Titus, many, many Gentiles followed close to Paul. Timothy 1.1, 1, 1, Paul a servant, and I wrote, be bearer, servant teacher, above that. Paul a servant of God and an apostle of Lord God Jesus Christ, Yahushua. According to the faith in 
God's elect. James, Peter, and Paul. Did I say that right? Peter, John, and Paul all use the word elect, election. There is elect saint sons, called and elect. Some of them before their parts came together in their mother's womb. God knew them in the spirit, in the likeness, in the spirit soul being. And the acknowledgement of the truth, which is after not godliness, God-likeness, likeness before image. The spirit is truth, God-likeness. If you want to know what God is like, God is spiritual truth. He's also light, brighter than the noonday sun. He's glory light. Immortality, dwelling in the light. Verse 2, in hope of eternal life, which Lord God, that cannot lie, promised before humanity and the world began. The Lord thought out his plan for his creation. And the Lord, Christ, through Christ, Elohim creator, that you need to listen to this more than once. Verse 3, 1 3 of Titus, but hath in due time, times, plural, manifest his word through preaching, which is committed unto me, Paul, Saul of Tarsus, and be bare. According to the commandment of God our Savior, God our Savior, the Lord God Jesus is our Savior. And there's only one God. Have you ever studied the word one? Got out the concords and studied the word three? Or one? <laughs> one versus three is what I meant to say in my mind. You'll find uh, six or more times in the Bible, God always reveals himself as one. Never have I found God is three. Those three words in that order. God is three. You can't find it. And uh, what's the word I don't know? Implied. Well, it's implied. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's implied. God is very clear and specific on his will and plan. One body, one God. And you can find one God, I believe, five or six times in the Bible. That makes it one or two past locked in major doctrine is one. All right, so much for that extra teaching. Verse 4, to Titus, mine own spiritual son, saint, a son placed, mature and responsible. Titus, after the common faith in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace. Mercy takes its place in the King James, in 1 Timothy, Titus, 2 Timothy, and 2 John. You will find mercy between grace and peace. Mercy takes its place. Grace, mercy, and peace from God, El Father, not the Father, El, first. The Father is first. And he's El Yan, highest, most high. All right, that's nine minutes. We've got a minute to get out at ten. We're on the last verse. I will reread Titus 1.4. And Titus, mine own spiritual son, a saint after the common faith in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace from God El, Father El Yon, the Lord Jesus Christ. X out and. They're not two separate things. They're one and the same. The Lord Jesus Christ is El Father El Yon. El Father El Yon, like the Spirit, was in the one mediator, the man, the person, the image, the host, the living cup, the Lord Jesus Christ. You saw the Son on the outside and the Father on the inside at the same time. The Father is in me and I am in the Father. That, I believe, is very close to Scripture in the Gospels. 
the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, Shua, five, Savior, Redeemer, Deliverer, Reconciler, unto glory, immortality dwelling in the light. Shua is one spirit holy. God is one spirit holy. God is one. Love you. Ten minute teaching. Be blessed.